What's up everybody? We're just uh, rolling in to the 2023 edition of the cord. Um, yeah, early morning. I pretty much didn't get out of bed. Uh, I don't know. My alarm was set for six and dad came in my room at 6.45. <laughs> so I wasn't waking up. I uh, had a good day yesterday just doing the demos with the Gas Gas KTM and Husqvarna crew. Um, rode a couple of the bikes, which was really awesome. And then the Vintage and the e-bike guys were off for a race and so um yeah we're just rolling in got a couple minutes uh what do we got about an hour yeah we got an hour an hour i uh, gotta do a little bit of bike work air filter it's super dry and dusty here this year um and then we are on row 17 and we will be off got anything to say <laughs> a little bit of chaos this morning opened up the gear bag realized i didn't have a camel back ladder so I had to do some running around the nice guys at gp bikes helped me uh hook me up with a new bag so i've got a new usb bag now um yeah me and dad are ready to rip on the rigs just about nine o'clock, so the first row is about to take off. We're on row 17. Uh, basically how it works, we've got eight tests due today, 156 total kilometers. Um, and yeah, they basically just tally up your test time, sort of like sprint enduro, but with transit sections in between. So yeah, number 17, or minute 17, we'll, uh, we'll be taking off in uh, about 20 minutes here. All right, so day one of the corduroy enduro. Um, as you can see, this doesn't quite look like Ontario. I'm actually home right now. Um, we had a couple camera malfunctions, a couple GoPro malfunctions. So just want to do a little bit of a recap. Um, we'll mix some riding footage in here uh, as much as we can. We had, uh, as you'll find out, we had a couple crashes here and there. So we actually broke the GoPro mount right off the chin of dad's helmet. <laughs> um, so we had some struggles with that. Weren't able to ride with it too much. But uh, yeah, so day one uh, went pretty good for us. We were yeah, 156 kilometers, eight tests of riding. Um, just trying to really get into the swing of things, really. It's a different type of racing. Um, not so much like the sprint enduros that we've been doing, like same idea, but the tests were quite a bit longer. So we had eight tests, um, today and yeah, just getting everything sorted out. Um, start out on the demo course, uh, which we'll have a little bit of footage of actually. So basically you kind of line up in your minutes. So we were minute number 17. Um, the first minute starts right at nine o'clock or eight o'clock on Sunday. Um, and then, yeah, when the first minute takes off, then minute by minute by minute, everyone lines up on the row um, and gets started off, which is pretty cool. So you go and hammer the loop. It's called the demo course because that is what we were doing all the demos on. So Gas Gas, KTM, Husky all come out with a bunch of bikes, a couple of the brands as well. Um, and they flip it for racing. So we did that test um, and then transfer over where I believe we have GoPro footage of the second test in Boardwalk. Uh, that is where dad crashed and broke them out. So we'll see if we got some crash footage. That'll be fantastic. Um, but yeah, eight tests were, uh, all went pretty well. Me and dad both had quite a few crashes, to be honest with you. Um, it was really dry this year. It's usually quite wet just Ontario it's usually raining um but it was really dry so lots of big bomb holes um and it was weird the way the Canadian Shield rock comes out of the ground it makes it a little bit tricky because you get big ruts full of silty kind of poofy dirt almost and then you hit them and there's ruts rocks and stuff in the middle so made for a lot of crashing um and yeah we were pretty pushed after 156 kilometers of riding even if it is mostly uh like your transit sections aren't super gnarly they're mostly like fire road, sled trail, quad trail kind of stuff. Um, but it still takes a beating out of you after uh, the tests were really gnarly. So you'll see a bit of footage there. Um, so yeah, we both uh, finished decently consistent. I didn't have a great day on Saturday. Uh, definitely struggled a bit just with the terrain. And I, as soon as you tried to start getting the flow, you started to push along pretty hard. Then you usually crashed or hit something or got kicked. Um, in the demo course, I had the biggest kick of my life. I thought that was it for me <laughs> and that was only a couple minutes in. So, um, but yeah, we, uh, I fell asleep on the way home. You'll see a video right now of that. Somebody had a long day. <laughs> Harley race today. <laughs> We're going to sleep well tonight. And then, uh, yeah, we went back to, we were staying at Bruce Moffat's house, which was super nice. Um, 
had some supper and then went to bed at like eight. So yeah, that was uh, day one and we'll have day two coming right up. All right, day two, quarter enduro. Uh, pretty much how this day starts out. Uh, you start out, everyone gets 15 minutes to work on their bikes from the day before. So on Saturday afternoon, once you're done your test, you kind of roll into the pit. You get a couple minutes to work on your bike and then you have to leave them in the impound. So you can't work on your bike. You can't change tires. You can't put fuel in it. You can't do anything um, until Sunday morning. So you got 15 minutes and then yeah, we roll the bikes right on the line. And then uh, there was a short like five kilometer transfer to the first test, but your bike doesn't get a warm up or anything. So as soon as your minute card flips over, you got to hope your bike starts. The battery's not dead. Bike runs okay. Um, I thought I fouled the plug, but I didn't, which is awesome. So that was great. Um, and then, yeah, it was a short transfer to the first test. We had, let me see, I got some notes here. We got seven tests on Sunday, 145 kilometers of riding. So still a pretty long day. Um, it started at eight o'clock. So it was actually pretty chilly in the morning. Uh, lots of fog and kind of a mist. So the ground was actually a little bit wet for the first test, which is really awesome. Um, me and dad both rode quite a bit better on this day. The tests seem to be a little bit faster and less hammered for some reason. Um, so you can kind of piece them together a little bit more, more of kind of like the train we're used to riding. So a little bit more consistent, a little bit quicker. Uh, the only problem with Sunday being quicker and the trails not being quite so kicked out or anything and everyone kind of getting used to it was the times were way closer to each other. So if you felt like you had a really good day, so did everybody else, uh, which made that quite a bit trickier. Um, we still had our tip overs here and there. Uh, I know dad lost a little bit more time than he was hoping for. Um, but we did get some more GoPro footage, something on his chest. And I don't know if we got the chin mount fixed. I can't quite remember, but, uh, yeah, 145 kilometers. I was pooched after, uh, I was cramping up a little bit. Dad was cramping up. We were, uh, once we got back and then yeah, after a full day of riding, we both did, I can't quite remember our results. I know dad was second on the day in his class. And then rolled the bikes in, got our finishers medal, and uh, yeah, that was it, day two. Overall, first uh, first quarter of enduro for me, uh, 69th annual running of the event, which is crazy. Um, that's a ton of times that that event's ran, and it is ran really well. Um, I've never been to an event like that. I've never really raced a classic enduro before, um, but I would assume this is kind of the bar for how these events should be ran. Like, it's completely perfect. You go off your test. You do, like, some of the tests were 18, 20 kilometers long. I know Toe Jam, Somerville, there were two tests. They're so long. Like, we're 35 minutes, 40 minutes of, like, test riding, so you're pushing really hard. You finish that test, you transfer 10, 15 kilometers to the next one, um, and you're right on time. They have their minutes completely dialed, so you don't have to wait long. We were waiting maybe, I don't know, five minutes max at the test um, to get going. So, yeah, it was all around really well. We're riding through the towns, through the little municipalities, like on the roads, we were on the highways, dipping in, and everything pieces together so well. Um, and yeah, it's a lot of riding, a lot, a lot of fun for sure. So I'm, uh, I wasn't super pumped with my riding. Day two was a little bit better. Um, I know me and Dad both wish we started the first day off a little bit better, but that's part of racing. So um, yeah, we were. Uh, I was super pumped that I got to go. Uh, the KTM guys were awesome. They had their sprint around. They went to every gas stop. They had filters, premix. They were helping us with everything. Um, so that's a big saver, especially after you're 120 kilometers in the day and you're pretty pooched. Um, so it's nice to have those guys there. So if you know, if you need something like brake levers, stuff like that, they've got it. They can help us out. So, um, yeah, Corduroy and Daryl, I will, uh, we'll be back.